And what's up guys, Technicals here. It's Wednesday, which means that Cubic just switched epochs. Uh, one epoch ends every Wednesday. That's when they uh, stop the mining snapshot and take a look at how many solutions you were able to get. If you're into CPU mining and you haven't been mining Cubic, it is quite profitable and it doesn't really show up on the mining calculator. So uh, for the past three weeks, I've been on Cubic and I know on the weekly switch up video that I did on Monday, I said I was going to Zephyr, uh, but you know, the greedy fingers, they got a hold of me, they got inside my ears and they tickled my brain. And I decided to stay on Cubic through Wednesday because I was only at the time when I d did the video, I only had one solution, maybe two. Uh, but I decided to stay on it and ended up getting 13 solutions. So they all came in the 11th hour and we just wrapped up the epoch. I just did the calculation. Did it make sense to mine cubic? Does it still make sense to mine cubic? Because the price is going down, the market's going down, everything's going down, but cubic is going down uh, in, insufficient to uh, be beaten by anything else. So we're comparing Zephyr, which is currently always kind of seems to be at the top of the profitability charts. Now you can mine all these other really obscure coins. Uh, but with you know, getting them and trading them, is there enough trade volume to even be able to sell them? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth that. So I compare Zephyr, uh, it's the tried and true thing that's you know kind of always profitable, against Cubic. So taking a look here, we just fin finished up Epoch 104. Comparing it to Epoch 103, uh, we were able to get a total of 15 solutions, yielding about uh, eight and a quarter million uh, Cubic. This time, 13 solutions getting about the same. Now we did get a small bonus for loyalty, which came out to like six cents worth of cubic for loyalty. Like, oh yeah, thanks, I mean, it's something, I guess. Uh, but with cubic's price drop over the past week, that same, roughly same amount of cubic it translating into about $43 versus $49. Now I have a 7950X 3D, two 7900Xs and one 5900X. And so in this chart, as you can see, I know the, the data is all over the place, it does not flow, uh, but I take the total number of its that each CPU is putting out and derive a percentage of what its total hash power is versus everything else, and then I just back away from there versus the total profit. Then I'm taking Zephyr's profitability, highest profitability over the past 24 hours based on hash rate dynamo because I'm not tracking day to day, I'm just taking the past 24 hours profitability as the highest. So there, is, there could be some margin for error in there if Zephyr was, say, 30% uh, more profitable to mine just a few days ago. Uh, but ultimately, you'd have to have time to sell it. And if you're comparing apples to apples, I'm only selling the cubic at the end of the run. And so the snapshot price on Zephyr kind of makes it a little more even. But you're going to have to plug that into your calculator and decide if that's really fair. I don't know, everyone loves looking at spreadsheets on a screen and some guy at a computer talking about cryptocurrency, but I'll try to make it as interesting as I can. Epoch 104, 13 solutions. If we take the uh, cost per day, that's the electricity rate of what it cost me to run these miners. Now I'm a little bit lower on the total power output, but I do guesstimate high on this because my electricity is cheap and that puts it a little bit more in line with what everyone else is doing. So the total cost per week to mine each of these individual miners is here. So two bucks, two dollars eighteen cents for the 7950X 3D about two bucks for all the other ones. So here we see total Zephyr revenue down a lot from last week when we took the snapshot last Wednesday. So down to 90 cents on the X3D was buck 40 last week. So big drop there, uh, you know, comparable drops on the other CPUs as well. So if we would have mined Zephyr, held it and sell, sold it all on, today at Zephyr's current price, would have been good for about $11.21. So if you go over to Cubic, again, we're taking the total it's backing it up from there and the, as the total percentage of their uh, expressed hash power in you know my cubic mining operations. And then from there, you take it per week, revenue per day, profit per day, backing out the electricity cost, yielding about $34 in profit. Um, that's profit, that's after electricity, by mining cubic this week. So if we can make it to the exchange on time, that is, and lock all this in, uh, because cubic price seems to be dwindling down, everything's going down, so I don't imagine cubic's gonna vault through the roof or anything like that, especially if other miners are cashing out on Wednesday. It seems like there is a noticeable drop every single Wednesday uh, that cubic uh, comes online. Is he gonna do it? Very interesting bug. It, it was about to crawl over the lens. Tell me you have AD, ADD without telling me you have ADD. Oh, look, a bug. So as a comparison against Zephyr, that's 160% more on the X3D, 337% more on the 7900X, and 45% more on the 5900X. So uh, yes, indeed, it does still make sense to mine cubic versus anything else, uh, especially in this sort of tumultuous time, this uncertain time. Uh, you know, I do 
not hate Zephyr as much as anything else, but I am interested in actually taking some coin because I want to build more stuff because I'm doing the YouTube thing and YouTube pays better than money anyway. So I'm trying to build more stuff for the channel. So I'm trying to cash it out. So again, if you've been following the Cubic Saga, if you're mi currently mining Cubic, I know a lot of people have been commenting that they're not into it. It's too complex to set up. It's up and down. It's uncertain, what have you. Um, you know, maybe take a look at it again. Link in the description below. Again, over to Rabid Mining's channel. He's got the expert guide on it. I'm not going to do a guide on it. Everyone's got a guide on how to do cubic. So go to, go to his channel. Give him the views. He deserves it. He, he went through. He did the legwork on how to set all this shit up. It's what I used. Uh, but if you're interested in what I'm taking in on these different CPUs because you're interested in getting started in cubic, this is the data here. Let me know in the comments below. Are you already mining cubic or are you kind of now interested in mining cubic because everything's going down, profitability is going down, Zephyr's not as profitable. Are you just pointing your rigs at nice hash? What are you doing? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.